Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video, we are going to take a look at creating custom 404 pages. Now, I promise you this is super straightforward and easy to accomplish using the Cornerstone Builder. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, as you may know, within Cornerstone, if you were using one of the standard stacks, so that's things like Integrity, Renew, Icon, or Ethos, they're built in 404 pages. So as you can see, I'm currently on Integrity here, and if I go ahead and save this and jump out to the front end of my website, and I go ahead and type in a URL that I do not have, something like something, and I'll go ahead and hit enter, I get this standard 404 page here. Now. If you are using the blank stack or the starter stack, there aren't 404 templates. So if I go ahead and click on the starter stack here and I update this here and I refresh this 404 page, I'm just gonna get an error with HTTP 404. So we want some sort of 404 page to exist. Now, as you might know, there are a lot of plugins in the WordPress repo to accomplish this, but we are not going to use a plugin. Let's go ahead and jump back into Cornerstone here and take a look at how this is done. We're gonna come over here and click on the plus symbol and we're gonna to go to single layout. So we are creating a template, a single layout template for our 404 page. So let's go ahead and click create. Now, I like to name this first and foremost just so things don't get confusing. So we'll call this 404 template. And then we'll jump into settings here and this is where the magic happens. Under our assignment conditions for this layout, we're gonna click on edit, add a condition, and within our conditional logic here, we're gonna scroll all the way down toward the bottom here where we'll see 404 page. And this basically says, show this template when the 404 page is being viewed. All right, so we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. We'll go ahead and save this. And now let's just build out a little something. Now we're just gonna have a little bit of fun here. And I think that's looking pretty good. Now, when I come over to our 404 page here and I refresh, I see an actual 404. So if I type in something else here, uh, let's go to our home page. Here we have our home page. Now, if I type in something two, which is not a page that exists, we get a 404 page. I can click view home and it takes me back to the home page. So as you can see there, it is super easy to use the Cornerstone Builder to create custom 404 pages for your website. As always, I hope you guys find these tutorials useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.